something that's good for me. Hey guys, this is Roland Blase. Uh, so I'm going to show you guys how to really set up your Mod X for live performances. Okay, so you have your Mod X. Uh, right now, uh, I go to live set. I like to go to live set. Let's say I'm going to play for Nubaz, which is the band I play for. I also play for LOG. Uh, so let's go back to live set. Uh, I put let me see if we can go ahead and click on new buzz here. So new buzz is here. My new buzz thing here. Now we have certain songs. Uh, you see I want to know. So you click here. Uh, how did I do that? How did I put certain sounds here? Like the piano. And if I'm about to play the guitar. I go. Or if I'm going to use a solo sound. So how did I set it up like this? Because when I'm performing, this is an easy setup right here where you can just touch a pad and you have your sound. So how did I do that? And how do you, how can you do that as a new keyboardist to the Mod X? Uh, how can you do that? The first thing you have to do, uh, let's say you have a blank screen, a blank one. Let's go to a blank one. Uh, so it says user five or whatever. The first thing you do, all right, while you're in a live set mode here, you go to edit. There's a button that says edit at the corner. You'll see a bunch of plus signs. There you can click on the first thing there. Uh, it'll automatically load a sound, but you can change that sound. You can go here to performance, and then you can select jazz guitar. Or select this solo sound. And then you go up here to go back to that screen. So now you have that sound there. Uh, and let's say you want that for a specific song. You're gonna have different songs set up like how I have. I go to this slot name down here. I type in, let's say the song is called Sherry. We type in Sherry. And sometimes I like to put the key the song is in next to it. Let's just put E flat. Sherry and E flat. And that's, I'm going to use that sound. And I like to have sounds like lined up going across that I'm going to use for that song. Uh, so we're going to click the second plus. We're going to click performance. And let's go ahead and put a TAG guitar. Now I have that TAG guitar sound on my website, compakeyboardschool.com. Um, so we have the TAG. So if you click here, done, then the plus signs will disappear and that'll be your setup. So. So when you're performing, you can just switch back and forth to these sounds and you go to edit and make sure you can just add more sounds. Let's add more sounds. You can add a whole bunch of sounds. Uh, and then I, what I like to do is put another song here on the, the third row here so that the last two rows are for a different song. So that's how I set up my Mod X uh, for live performances. Um, so if you have any questions as far as you're new to the Mod X, and, but you're, you have gigs, you're playing compa, if you wanna know how to load sounds, edit sounds, like this song, let's say you don't like this Papito sound or the TAG guitar, uh, you can always change that sound uh, or even create a new one from that sound. So let's click done. So let's go into the Papito sound. How do you do that? You go to performance and then you see these are the Papito samples here. Uh, let's see. Boom. All these sounds here, as you can see the volumes going up and down, they make up that Papito sound. Uh, and you can also solo each sound. So ma mainly here, the papito sound is mainly in number two. Uh, but there's little sounds that add to it to make it sound good. 
So. And you can always delete sounds by clicking on the specific sound and going to delete. Or you can edit it and put your own wave sample instead of what's there into the elements. Uh, but if you have any more questions, I'm going to make a full tutorial video on how to edit sounds and put wave files in certain sounds and all that. But this is just a simple video on how to set up your Mod X for uh, live performances in Copa. Uh, I wish I could have said this in Creole. My Creole is not perfect. Um, hopefully one day I can. Uh, but I just want to thank you guys. Remember to go to CopaKeyboardSchool.com and get your sounds. Listen up guys, if you need Copa sounds, just go to CopaKeyboardSchool.com uh, Not only will you see courses and a few tips on lessons, if you continue scrolling you'll see the main stage solo sounds, uh, including some guitar sounds, the Mod X sounds, uh, you keep scrolling, you see a drum kit, you'll see guitar samples, you'll see uh, the Roland XV5080 card, which is mailed out. So uh, you can also go to free downloads, there's the new TAZ guitar sample for the Mod X um, and you go to Compound Sounds, uh, pretty much the same thing on the home page you can see in the Compound Sounds section. Uh, so go to CompoundKeyboardSchool.com, you will find all the Compound Sounds you need. Now guys, please like and subscribe the video and if you do want to learn Compa, if you need some Compa lessons, uh, the YouTube channel is full of them. Uh, please reach out via email um, and go to CompaKeyboardSchool.com where you'll find your source of everything you need for Compa. Thank you guys for tuning in. This is Roland Blase signing out.